who is important to you? The people you love? The people you serve? Imagine with me, what if sin or fear could no longer hold any of them back? If the daily grind and the pressure of managing everyone and everything could no longer run you down or wear you out? Stress comes in all sorts of forms and hurts and leads to all sorts of things like fatigue, family dramas, guilt, loss of purpose. But what if these things could no longer hinder us or pin us down? This is the dream behind the Paraclete Initiative. Coming alongside God's people with effective, practical, God-honouring tools that you really can use to throw off that which hinders and be free to love and serve God and others more meaningfully, effectively and sustainably. Consider, your mind, body and spirit are somewhat like the engine of a car, yes? Together they power your actions and drive you wherever God wants you to go. But stress comes from living in a sin-broken world. And it can slow us down and wear us out, like oil or fuel impurities clogging up the engine. So sometimes it's like your, your mental oil gets old and sludgy, and then your engine starts overheating. And then the tiny little seal just cracks under the pressure and wham, <laughs> you are stranded at the side of the road. Now, if we deal with these issues as they arise, it's much easier to stay on track, but when we don't, we are at risk of driving ourselves into the ground, crashing or burning out. How many people do you think are at risk just in our region, in our churches alone? A few hundred? A few thousand? 21,000 is my estimate in our region alone. And my reasoning is there. This means that as a community, we are losing tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of hours in sleep, energy, concentration, motivation, jobs not being done or not being done well, so they have to be redone. We are talking enormous levels of mental and emotional strain, fracturing relationships between friends and colleagues, within families and ministries. <coughs> How much time could we take back? How many relationships could we nurture? How many people could find a physical, emotional and spiritual balance if we came alongside them when they need us or before they need us with stuff that actually works and works across cultures, contexts and issues? So this is where the Paraclete Initiative comes in. Named to honour the one who comes alongside us but under the umbrella of my own practice as the psychologist coach. I'm, I focus on stress mastery and burnout prevention, but through coaching and training rather than therapy. I'm like the mechanic who pops the bonnet, shows you the engine God has given you, and then together we figure out how you can fine tune it for yourself. But instead of holding a trade certificate, I hold a Master's of Clinical Psychology, a minor in Neuroscience, and a membership with the International Association of Coaching. So I work one-on-one -on -one and with groups. My individual work usually looks like me meeting a client on their own turf as they develop and work through their own stress mastery plan. Though I am also in the process of organising some online resources or an e-retreat that people can take themselves through at home. I'm also working on a group context, mostly in retreats or seminar basis, such as the seminar I'm going to be running for Generate Ministries annual conference next month. But let me be clear. This is not just about stress management, dealing with symptoms. This is about helping you find a place where you master stress, rather than having it master you. For example, what is one of the worst words in the English language that starts with sh? Should, <laughs> right? It is such a innocent, quiet sounding little word and yet through decades of life experience it starts carrying this real weight of you know, shame and guilt and judgement. Yeah? Like, I should be better at this. I should do more. Can you feel that weight? Well, what happens if we change should for could? I should write that report. I could write that report. I should be calmer with my kids. I could be calmer with my kids. I should be better than this. <coughs> I could be better than this. Can you feel a difference there? A bit of a gap? 
That's what I help people create, a space where they can stand apart from the stress that's trying to run them down or consume them so that they can then be free to choose what to do what matters in that moment and therefore be free to love and serve God and others more meaningfully, effectively and sustainably.